All right, we got commitment season, baby. We've got two commitments, not one, but two. The big one we talked about yesterday, James Nesta, the linebacker out of North Carolina, committed, and Emmett Jones did not want to be outdone. Doozy Ezukami, three-star wide receiver out of Fort Worth, Texas, has also committed to the Sooners right after James Nesta. We got to talk about both of them so we can get excited because I told you it was going to come down. But first, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. Before we get diving into everything, hop in the comments, let your boy know. What's your thoughts on these two commitments that just came down the line? Now you can comment after I show you some of the film on both players. If you are new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification. Make sure you join the family. We're dropping a lot of content, especially now that OV season is ending. We've got a lot of commitments coming down the line, and so I want you all to be excited with your boy. So let's dive right into these players, Doozy, as well as James Nesta. We'll start with Nesta, and we'll finish up with uh, Ezukami so that you guys know exactly who he is because, man, a little something special there. All right, y'all know we talked about our boy James Nesta yesterday's, last night's video. Actually, you may have saw it this morning or sometime today, but we're going to show it again anyway. Why? Because we got a reason to be excited here. James Nesta, linebacker, raked at about six foot five, about 205 pounds of linebacker man that also plays basketball baseball and so this is the first baseball player that i'm hearing is going to commit we've got a second one coming down the line so just you know hang on to those wheels something else is going to go down but let's talk about james he comes out of north carolina and the Sooners were competing with North Carolina as well as Miami. And in some of the stuff that I was reading around is that Nesta wanted to kind of get out, branch out and do something different. But the best part is, is Coach Skip Johnson over on the baseball team decided to yank him in too and allow him to come play baseball here. Because remember, when we had Kyler Murray. They finagled things perfectly to where Kyler could play baseball and be quarterback of the Oklahoma Sooners, which is a very tough feat to do. It's to play quarterback and play baseball. And so the Sooners figured it out. And Skip Johnson was one of those people that were instrumental in figuring it out for them. And so James Ness is going to come here. He'll play linebacker and he's going to play baseball for the Sooners. And you've seen in the film or whatnot, the man's a thumper. He can hit. And I heard on the baseball field. And I heard on the baseball diamond. He's actually even better. And so that blew my mind when I heard that information. I was like, okay, well, I guess this is one of those players that's going to come out and um, do some special stuff. So, We've got Nesta. He'll be playing football and he'll be playing baseball. He may even go MLB because he's that good. And so because of that, we got him a spot. He'll be a thumper on the defensive side as well as an awesome baseball player. And so we're going to pause here, hop in the comments, let your boy know how excited are you as I am. I mean, hey, feels like we're in the upside down, baby. But the beautiful is, is that we're flipping right side up. We're getting these commits and we're showing you all what the work this coaching staff is doing. And I told you it's going to happen. So. And if you made it this far, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification. And so we're going to jump right into this wide receiver that Emmett Jones said, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring a player in, too, on top of the list of players that we're working on. All right, this was a shocker for me, too. When it popped up, I'm like, wait, who's this cat? So I'm going to go look him up. This is Doozy Ezukanmi. He is a wide receiver out of Fort Worth, Texas. Goes to All Saints Episcopal High School down in that area. And when I looked him up, Consensus three-star wide receiver, roughly in the top 600-ish players in the country. And so he can play. But the thing that jumped out to me is just like we saw with James Nesta, he's tall. 6'3", 6'4"-ish. I think he has himself listed as 6'4", about 180 pounds. And he can catch. And he looks like he's pretty talented too. And so when I had to do some digging in it, I went to his page. And one thing that jumped out to me when I saw the commitment video, which was a little odd, it was more of a... um, like the videos that we see when players come to do their officials, but the end it said committed. I'm like, well, all right, we got to set a commitment to go along with this. And so with doozy, what jumped out to me is, is that his brother actually played wide receiver at Texas tech, Eric Ezukami. Yes. He's a wide receiver for the Miami dolphins right now. And Emmett Jones coached him last year at tech. And so you've got a dolphin wide receiver. His little brother decides that, you know what? I like the way you did for my brother. I'm going to follow you. And now he's leaving Fort Worth, coming up north, and he's going to be in Oklahoma. So let's add to the wide receiver class. You got K.J. Daniels uh, coming as well as Zion Kearney. And you got this big six foot four, six foot five ish wide receiver in Doozy Ezukami. Um, man, 
Emmett Jones is putting in work. And so there's got to be something special about him coming. Yeah. I, of course, am stoked that we were able to um, pull another beastly player up from the Texas area, especially Dallas Fort Worth, especially from the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, in which we know that Emmett Jones has a lot of ties and a lot of connections with the coaches there. And yeah, I'm thinking that we've got ourselves another little hidden gem. So hop in the comments, let your boy know we've made it this far. What you think about Doozy Azukami? You saw the film running. Man can catch pretty quick. Got a quick step. He's got some nice hands. I think that we've uh, we may have hit another diamond in the rough. If you're new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification, and join the family. We're dropping all kinds of content here, and we'd love for you to all to be a part of it going forward. We'll be going live in about an hour and some change after this video. If you see this video the next day, check out the live stream. We're going to be talking about these recruits, some other intel that we're hearing or whatnot, and uh, we would love for you to join us. YouTube also says watch one of these videos here, and I definitely recommend it. We'll chop it up soon. Peace.